Emmanuel Macron-led government in France has unveiled measures to boost household purchasing power. A $20.3 billion package has been announced, which is expected to help struggling households cope with the consequences of the war in Ukraine, including rising energy and food prices. The proposed legislation to tame the rising cost of living was presented at a cabinet meeting. The proposal comes a day after French Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne detailed the government's economic strategy in Parliament. As per government officials, the measures include increase in pensions and raising civil servant salaries by 3.5%. A series of welfare payments will also increase by 4%. French government also plans on maintaining a current cap on electricity prices and a gas price freeze until the end of the year. It is also asking firms that have made profits from increased freight and energy prices to share some of them directly with employees. In line with the campaign promise from Macron, they are being encouraged to offer an annual bonus of up to $6,092 that's tax-free for employees and tax-deductible for employers. The French finance minister also announced a commuting bonus to help French workers. Tous ceux qui travaillent pourront, dès le 1er octobre, s'inscrire sur le site de la Direction générale des finances publiques pour se déclarer et demander cette indemnité carburant travailleur. Cette indemnité concernera la moitié des travailleurs qui euh, utilisent leur véhicule. La moitié des travailleurs seront concernés, c'est-à-dire des travailleurs modestes, mais aussi des classes moyennes. Ça représente environ 12 millions de foyers. Pourront la solliciter tous ceux, sans exception, qui utilisent leur voiture pour se déplacer. Ça peut être des salariés, ça peut être des fonctionnaires, des indépendants, mais aussi, j'insiste là-dessus, des jeunes en alternance. L'indemnisation sera de 200 euros pour les déciles 1, 2 et 3, et de 100 euros pour les déciles 4 et 5, puisque cette indemnisation couvrira jusqu'au cinquième décile. Nous avons également rajouté une majoration de 50% pour tous ceux dont le travail est à plus de 30 km de leur lieu d'habitation. The measures will be debated in Parliament later this month. They are seen as a crucial test for the government's ability to govern. The Centrist Alliance of President Macron won the most seats at the National Assembly in elections last month, but lost its straight majority. This, as a leftist coalition and the far right made big gains, becoming strong opposition forces. The government, in order to avoid legislative deadlock, offered to make compromises on a case-by-case -case basis with rival parties. The move comes as annual inflation touched a record 8.6% for the 19 euro using countries. In France, annual inflation is estimated to be at 6.5%, which is among the lowest in the eurozone. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.